A new public opinion poll has just come out in Israel, revealing that support for a two-state solution is lower than ever among both Palestinians and Israelis alike. 53% of Israelis say they back two states, and just 47% of Palestinians say the same. Well, joining us now to discuss whether this option is still feasible in the current environment is Uri Zaki, the president of the Meretz Governing Assembly, and Ali Fuld, the, the assistant director of Standing Together. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right, so why is overall support for the two-state solution decreasing? I'm actually not surprised. You know, the poll itself uh, said that the reason that uh, uh, folks who were uh, polled uh, gave is that the, the settlement expansion makes the two-state uh, 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 solution unrealistic. Now, um, it is true. It, it's not about them not supporting the uh, two-state solution as an ideal solution for the conflict, but rather saying it's not feasible because, the, because of the uh, Netanyahu government expansion of settlements. Now, it's true. And if we will lose uh, the opportunity to have a two-state solution, that means a doom for the Zionist vision. That means an end to the, the notion of a, a democratic uh, Jewish uh, homeland. And uh, it's really bad news. All right, All right. So, you know, I think that I don't want to shut the dream of Zionism has to do with building an Arab state in Israel, but again, maybe I may be wrong with the definition. I think the two-state solution has never been a solution. We were making a facade. Uh, in terms of the Jewish side, there's a much bigger drop just simply because the Arab public, certainly in Gaza, who 80% voted for a radical Islamic terrorist organization, and Abu Mazen himself, who never accepted the idea of a Jewish state at all in the land of Israel, I think it was a facade, and maybe the mass is being taken off now, and thank God on our side, People are saying, you know what, enough with this facade. We don't believe it. They say it's because of the settlements. I mean, again, years in the past when there were no settlements, there was no peace. It's, it's time to take truth over diplomacy. It really is. Enough of the diplomacy that doesn't work. Uh, but, but is there a solution that exists beyond two states? Well, I think that... That is a question here, well, right? I think that the, like I always say, in order to find a solution, you have to define the problem. And as long as someone's defining the problem as a land problem, it, there won't be a solution because you're finding a solution to the wrong problem. In other words, the Arabs' uh, desire to destroy Israel existed when there were no settlements, existed in 48 to 67. They were murdering Jews before the state of Israel. It's a culture problem. And as long as we're not dealing with that culture problem, it's still going to go on. We can make nice things and call it peace, but it's not happening. We gave them Aza, and Uli, we saw you know, thousands of missiles. Now, Uli, what is your response to that? Time is working against us. Uh, again, we have a reality now that in maybe less than uh, two years, there'll be a uh, majority of Palestinians living under Israeli control. Now, in that when this time comes, and it's around the corner, that means we'll have to choose whether we'll choose uh, keeping our Jewish identity and thus becoming an apartheid state de facto, or uh, giving one person one vote, the famous democratic principle, but that means the end of Israel as a Jewish nation. This uh, choice of two elements that are the, the, together are the basic elements of Zionism, that's a doom for Israel. And it's, it's horrible, and I don't see any other uh, good solution except from the uh, two-state solution. Of course, there are uh, some possibilities within the two-state uh, framework that can work uh, uh, to make it better. Let's get your last thoughts in because we're okay, going to have to so wrap again, this up. Netanyahu was the only prime minister who made a settlement freeze. Nothing happened in that time. Again, the idea of apartheid, this is terrible. It's what the worst of Israel's enemies say. There's no apartheid. We have... 20% of non-Jewish equal citizens in this country. It's terrible to use that language. The reason the two-state solution has failed is because the Arabs have a culture occupation. since the beginning of Israel to destroy Israel. It existed when there were no settlements. It existed when there were no Israel. It's time to stop playing diplomacy when truth is All on right. the line. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for not Thanks screaming for at each other today. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys.